Hello guys and welcome back to the Zane Investing. I would suggest and see, as today is a generally bullish day. Currently, we are receiving commentary on the debt ceiling situation. On the other hand, the debt ceiling represents the worst case scenario, correct? Nobody really desires a default. No matter how pessimistic you are, you do not desire a default. Now, a default may not be necessary to experience significant losses in this market and we will explain why this is the case and how it will affect equities like AMC. It places shorts in a precarious position. In terms of the pressure that is placed on shorts or that will be placed on shorts in the near future, the increase to 1,000% is analogous to the cost of borrowing money. Because some of the comments we receive today, which I will now read to you, are extremely negative. Now, on top of that, Ben Bernanke, the former chairman of the Federal Reserve, has some news for you. That was the Fed chief in 2008, which is rather strange. We also had this covert meeting with Powell, which is ongoing. We haven't received any updates on this matter, but the markets are plummeting, so perhaps someone knows something. Therefore, we will explain everything you need to know. We will also discuss the relationship between volume and AMC, which we touched on in the previous video. But I'd like to summarize all of the concepts we've discussed including the collateral crisis or collateral being squeezed, the low volume at AMC, and how a market decline could place AMC in a favorable position for a short squeeze. Therefore, we will discuss all of this information. Stay updated. In the interim, please click the like icon and subscribe to the channel. Leave your comments, queries, or concerns in the section below. If you're interested, you can trade with me live in real time whenever I post a trade link in the description of this video. So first and foremost, there are things occurring beneath the surface with AMC, correct? We are aware that shorting a stock involves unlimited risk. You are aware. Therefore, you must set up collateral or money in case the trade goes against you, because the risk is unlimited. As the risk increases or decreases, more collateral is required. Currently, we're examining the debt ceiling and anything else that causes concern. The markets will now decline. It will increase the burden on shorts because they will have to provide more collateral for their short positions. They will likely be required to pay higher borrowing costs. All of this is bad news if you are short a stock, and especially so if you are short a stock. Correct, that has already fallen. Shorting equities as a means of protecting a long portfolio. This is why short selling exists. That to sort of mitigate out, but also to unearth dislocations and mispriced names. People prefer to short equities they believe to be overvalued. Right, it maintains market equilibrium. Well, if you are using AMC as a hedge against market declines, you are using AMC as a hedge. Perhaps this is not a smart idea, as AMC may have already experienced the decline at the current share price of $5.02 per share because, over the past 10 or 15 days, AMC has dropped from over $6 per share to $5 per share, a decline of nearly 20%. It may not decline as much as hedge funds would need for their portfolios to be hedged. Therefore, if you must provide more collateral to finance an AMC short position, AMC is no longer falling in tandem with broad markets. And there is this overwhelming pressure and dread that if something positive comes out of the courts, AMC stock may gain. All of this does not appear appealing as an AMC short. Okay, so there we have it. Let's now move on to the day's direct market affecting commentary and news. The first issue is the debt ceiling. It's very strange, fellas. This is a very strange situation. The meetings are productive and we're going to get a deal done, or we believe we can get a deal done, according to some comments, but then other comments are made. That have been released within the last 30 minutes or so. McKendry identifies significant differences between expenditure and the debt ceiling. Also, he says, they cannot predict when negotiations will recommence because Biden and McCarthy are not currently meeting. Today, there were no arrangements for a meeting. However, the deliberators are meeting today. So, that does not sound good either. According to them, there are significant differences in expenditure here. This is a topic I emphasized in the introduction to this video. You do not necessarily need to experience the worst-case circumstance, such as a default. There could be a debt ceiling increase accompanied by significant spending cutbacks. 
This is also detrimental to our markets because inflation is undesirable. We are aware that this expenditure leads to inflation, but the markets have been so resilient because so much stimulus remains. This has been discussed previously. No longer will the stimulus be deposited into your bank account. It's going to corporations, bank accounts, tax credits, and all of their other spending methods. The Build Back Improved Act was comparable. Two trillion dollars. Half a quadrillion. Numerous expenditures, right? The markets therefore view this as a possible backstop. Perhaps this will aid in avoiding a recession. If some of that is turned back, it will likely be detrimental to this market. Now, keep in mind, return to this frequently. How does this data help? Differentiate yourself in brief positions. How does this influence the portfolio of a hedge fund? Okay, I believe we've discussed this before. I will not delve too deeply into this, but your largest equities in the world have been those who have benefited the most from this AI hysteria. It is not capitalized. It's not in our case. It involves massive caps. You will receive NVIDIA earnings reports tomorrow and after hours. I do not care which direction NVIDIA takes. If they have positive earnings, negative earnings are irrelevant. I believe that the AI frenzy has gone far too far or too high, extremely rapidly. And I believe you give some of that back after NVIDIA. And I believe that NVIDIA will impact stocks that it would not normally affect. Apple, Microsoft, Google, and Amazon will be impacted by NVIDIA's earnings in 2022, whereas in the past, and even last quarter, these companies were unaffected by NVIDIA's earnings. However, artificial intelligence, AI, is now here and it will be the primary driver of all of these companies in 2022. They have not been motivated by fundamentals. Taking this into account, adverse pressure could be coming to the large technology sector where hedge funds operate. And today, you reached a low of $4.98 per share, and you may end the day just above $5 per share. You recognize the trend, correct? I'm not sure if it's necessary, but you're closing above $5 per share. More often than not, you demonstrate strong demand. More frequently than not, that gives me some reason to believe. You are aware that bullish activity is typical for AMC stock. In the comment section, please let me know what you people think about this. If you break above the 100-day moving average, the next target is this descending trend line. This will be the subsequent level. You want the share price to break out above $4 or $5.30. You have broken out above $6 per share, which is your next target. Consider everything that was said in this video regarding the deterioration of collateral and the increase in required margin. Put available for short-staffed AMC positions, and then consider that in context, if AMC does receive a positive catalyst and the stock is able to rally, guys, that's it for this video. So press that like button and subscribe to this channel. Provide your comments, queries, or concerns in the section below. Enjoy the remainder of your day, and I'll see you in the next one.